Can we find any unicorns in the wild today? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we are doing some more bourbon hunting. Today we are going to stop at two or three stores, run inside, see what they've got to offer. One of these stores, I have heard they have a Stag Jr. store pick and I'm very intrigued by that and I know most of you are as well. So hopefully they still have it in the store. So we're gonna go in there and uh, see what they have to offer. But first, before we get into the video though, make sure you guys drop that like, leave a comment down below on what fun things you've seen in the stores lately. And if you really enjoy the content, drop that subscribe button because we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. And as always, I want all of you to be a part of it. Check out the store for your, your everyday drinker merchandise. Link is down below and check out the Patreon as well. For as little as $2 a month, you can help support me and the channel. And uh, we can go and do more fun videos like this one. But without further ado, let's get into store number one. Store number one is going to be Buy Right Wine, Beer, Liquor, and Spirits here in, on 72 in Manahawk in New Jersey. We are in like southeast, almost getting into central Jersey, but uh, heard really good things about this store. We stopped here once oh, about a year ago. They did a E.H. Taylor single barrel store pick. Um, I highly doubt they have that in the store still because uh, when I came in here a year ago, they didn't have it. Um, but their selection from what I remember is decent. So let's run inside and see if they will even allow me to record what they've got. All right, yeah, everybody, we're starting off strong. Jack Daniels single barrel coming at 128.6 proof. You know, you guys know I don't like that, but that's all for you. Coming at 61.99. We've got the Bonded and the Triple Mash. Sinatra coming in at 170. Elijah Craig, 18 year, 199, not bad. Toasted, not a bad price, 70 bucks, not the worst in the world. Okay, full proof. I've been standard corrected here. We got the full proof single barrel store pick, $55, not bad. I might have to pick that up. And we've got the Bonded. Coming in at 50 bucks. Not bad at all. This right here, Benchmark Single Barrel, one of my favorites. Coming at 95 proof, 30 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. And then the full proof, 26 bucks. Wild Turkey Rare Breed, coming in at 55 bucks. Not bad at all. Russell's 10, 44.99. Knob Creek 18 year, 150. And then I got the 12 year. 60, not bad. Nine year single barrel reserve coming at 120 proof. 53 bucks, not bad. Calumet 16, Calumet 15, 10 and the 8, small batch. Barrel burn, there's 35. Foundation. The Amberana finish. 75 bucks, not not bad at all. That's a great price. The Cigar Batch Starlight, 75 bucks. Larceny, Batch A124, 180 bucks, not bad. A couple of Peerless options. Woodenville. Frank August. Case Study. Brandy Cask Finish. 175. We've got a really interesting one, the Legion Yamazaki Cask Finish Blend, 114 proof, 180. I mean, you guys know I'm not the biggest Legion fan, but that one sounds interesting. I think the bottle's really pretty as well. We've got the Booker's 04 and 03 from 2023. Remus 7. 100 bucks. And then finally, we've got some Redwood Empire. So you got the Foggy Burrow, Devil's Tower, 95, 79. This is always an interesting one. The Stillhouse coming in in a tin bottle, 25 bucks. That's always interesting. Old Elks, Cigar Cut. 124 10 year wheat 
120. Four grain, double wheat, some mictors, some high west offerings, some Woodfords. We've got the reserve batch proof at 121.2 proof. And then we've also got the Sonoma triple finish. Joseph Magnus, 86. The Murray Hill, 89. This one I've had before. Tennessee Street Bourbon Peg Leg Porker. It's a $50 bottle. It needs a minimum of four years. This was an interesting one. It wasn't my favorite in the world, but still decent. Pretty good. And this one I've seen a couple of places and I'm really not interested in this. I've heard the some reviews were good, some reviews were bad, but $90 for 95 proof, not my wheelhouse. And then we've got the Penelope American Light 120, the Four Green at 60, the Bartender's Reserve. Got a couple of architects up here and then that nine year. Private select at 70 bucks. Not bad. It's a really nice Penelope selection we've got going on here. What a selection that store has. Buy right here in Manahawkin, New Jersey. Great selection, great prices. Some things were a little high, but other things were absolutely just marked to perfection. Great selection of bourbons that you just can't go wrong with. I mean, that right there, if you're in the Manahawkin area, highly, 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 highly recommend stopping in at the Buy Right here in Manahawkin. But without further ado, let's get on the road and let's stop at store number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at stop number two. We are at Spirits Unlimited here in Toms River, New Jersey. Um, this is supposedly the store that has the Stag Junior uh, barrel pick. So let's run inside, see what they've got to offer, see if they have a glass case or whatnot, and uh, see if they have anything fun. Let's go run inside. Well, that was a total bust. They have a sign that says, check out our bourbon selection. Their bourbon selection is as big as my hand. Um, but nonetheless, we're gonna stop at maybe one or two more stores, see if there's anything fun. All right, so here we are. We're at stop number three. We're at Lacey Liquors here in Tom's River. We're in Lacey, New Jersey, right outside of Tom's River. Never stepped foot in this store. Have absolutely no idea what they have to offer. So let's run inside, see if they have anything cool. Here we go. We've got some something cool. Bottled and coming through here. Nelson Bros Reserve. A lot of people say pick that up. And right next door to it, we've got some James Pepper. We've got that bad boy, the decanter coming in. $72.99, not bad. A couple things I've never heard of. Kenzie Bourbon right down here. It's an all Mackenzie. Large barrel aged series. Bourbon whiskey finished in apple brandy barrels. Boondock, six year old straight bourbon whiskey finished pork. Watershed Distillery. W.H. Harrison's Governor's Reserve Barrel Pump. Never heard of that. Duke. Five year. Oh, Stranahan's actually here, huh? This is something I don't see every day. The Old Baker 7 bottle. That's cool. That's really cool. Batch number B90001. That's cool. Now, even though we didn't buy anything in that store, seeing that old Baker's 7 bottle, that's pretty freaking cool. You hardly ever see those. I'll leave that on the shelf. I don't even, I didn't have a price on it, so I have absolutely no idea what it was going for. But you never know. They might know what they have there, and it could be like priced at like over 100 bucks. So, I'll leave that there for somebody else. Or, you know, if it's priced at a reasonable price, who knows? I might have missed out and it could be a nice cool collector's piece for somebody else's collection. But nonetheless, we're gonna stop at one more store and uh, let's go see what that store has to offer. All right, everybody, so we are at our final spot. We are at Ridgeway Wine Center here in Ridgeway, New Jersey. I've heard really good things about this spot. Never stopped here, so let's run inside, see if they have anything interesting. New Lou, we got a little barrel select. 118 proof. Middle West Street Rye. Baker 7. 8 years, 10 months. Not bad. Booker's. 
Here we are again with the Jameson Pepper, the Cantor Bottle. Whistle Pig Summer Stack. Didn't think this thing still existed. Not a creek ride, coming in at $46.99, not bad. We got the old Penelope logo bound. The Buffalo Trace action. Single barrel select. Nice. Not bad. Not the worst price in the world. We got a 45. Got a hill 49. Toasted barrel, no price on it, but it is what it is. They got the old Grand Dale 114 down there. Jefferson Ocean, Egypt Sea. Red House Round. Jack Daniels, Bonded Ride, Bonded Triple Mesh. Center Round coming at 126.6. 72 bucks, not that bad. All right, everybody, we just left our final store, and yeah, their prices were a little high, but hey, that is what it is when you're in the middle of absolute nowhere. Very, very nice, well-maintained, kept mom-and-pop store that place is. Prices were not secondary, but the prices were a little bit high, but you know, they, they talked to me a little bit uh, about it. They do um, kind of like what Adelphia does is what I imagine. Um, if you uh, show your respect to that store, um, you go in there, you spend your money there, they take care of you, right? Um, so that's that's one big thing about what I, I, I like about stores like that, is if you take care of them, they take care of you. And that's what Ridgeway Wine uh, does with their customers. Um, so if you're in that area, definitely recommend going in, giving it a peek. They had a nice uh, barrel uh, pick selection there, that Buffalo Trace one. 45 bucks is a great price. 80 bucks for an Eagle Rare, a little high for me, but hey, some people are definitely willing to shell out that amount of money for that. Um, and if you were looking for a Weller Foolproof, I think they had it for $2.99. Um, not the worst price in the world, but hey, um, some people aren't wanting to spend that money. Hope you guys enjoyed this bourbon hunting extravaganza here on the East Coast of New Jersey. Next one will be, hopefully we'll uh, do a little state traveling and we'll go over to PA, maybe New York, see what those states have to offer. But like I said, as always, if you guys enjoy the content, leave a like. Drop that subscribe if you're brand new. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. We just hit 6,000 in the time of recording this video, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.